guys, welcome to Jerry Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 2 of The Boys, entitled Proper Preparation and Planning. Not as bad as a tongue twister looks like on the surface. Proper Preparation and Planning. Proper Preparation and Planning. I can hit that all day. That's what we're going to hop into. Uh, the first episode felt more like a... I don't know. It didn't feel too much like a premiere. Nothing crazy happened outside of, like, the whole head explosion thing. Which was pretty dope. Sorry, I'm trying to think at the same time. We had a lot of just, here's where they've been. I don't know how much time has passed. We had Homelander drinking tit milk. We had, why did I say it so aggressively like that? Homelander was drinking breast milk. Like I'm a Neanderthal. He, then on the flip side, tries to threaten the higher-ups at Vought but gets put down by Gustavo Fring. He doesn't have as much power as he thinks he has. Now, obviously, he has enough power to fucking kill everybody if he wanted to, but not when it comes within that company. Billy Butcher shows up at the last second. We don't know what's going on with Homelander's kid. We don't know what's kind of going on with the rest of these peeps. We know Huey still likes Starlight. You can see she's willing to forgive, but he keeps lying, so he's probably just further pushing her away in the long term. So we'll see where it goes into with episode two. Maybe some more of where Butcher's been or how he's still alive. That's the big part. And the baby. I don't know if they'll ever show Old Girl's Baby again or not. But Homelander, son. So without further ado, I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. Boop. And let's watch season two, episode one. Proper preparation and planning. The boys. This poor guy. Oh, he's trying to remember where he was. He doesn't know that location. Ooh, I like that even more. Okay. Yellow Ranch, very suburban, large trees, longitude and latitude. So he saw all that shit and wakes back up in La La Land. Homelander's a fucking dog for letting him even see that in the first place, but then letting him live? I wonder if that'll come back to bite him in the ass. Pasta, we got Tony Cicero's. Tony Cicero's? Where the fuck am I? You're at Tony Cicero's. I don't know. What fucking city am I in? Uh, Fort Wayne. Indiana. <clears throat> you got a bit of pipe. There, there's not a worse fucking place you could ever wake up. Jesus, I'm so sorry, Billy Butcher. Something like Shout out her, by the way, for giving him a crayon set to something to write with. Not a pen or nothing. He's deranged, but she still could have kicked him out, but instead gave him, yeah. Oh, am I? He left us for dead, and now it's like nothing happened? Come on, Billy. You gotta give us something, mate. You're right. <coughs> I am sorry. Sorry. sorry it was weird. That I trusted this lot was smart enough to save themselves like they've done a hundred times before. Okay, you gonna pretend like this is normal? Like we're fucking lemmings? Nobody, nobody wants to deets. Tell him, Butcher. Come on, man. Everybody keeping secrets from one another like a bunch of fucks. We were going to have a pissing contest between Huey and Billy. Because, uh, sign me up. What? Has anyone told you what you're capable of? No. So two things is one. Homelander's aware of Compound B. He knows that it was put into him. He knows his upbringing. He's aware of all of that. I think it would have been cooler if he didn't. And he actually believed about some other shit, but that's okay. He also is aware that that's how he was given his powers. They do put Compound V into babies. Did they put Compound V into his son? Or is he just assuming because he has powers, his son would have powers? But that also doubles back to the end of the first season. We saw his son's eyes light up, showing he had powers. So which was it? Was it was it a birth power or is it more of they also gave his kid stuff? That's about time you found out. Hey, who's we? Look, I just want my kid to be normal. Fuck you. 
Well, I don't, I don't, even, thing I don't even know how I feel about you. I like that really small detail, just a super light hand touch on her elbow, and then the disgust that came over her. Speaking of people that make women disgusting when they touch them, or disgusted when they touch them, this guy. The deep. About to join a goddamn cult. More frescas. You know what's crazy is I wouldn't... If you take away the stuff that he did, right, with Starlight, there's a silver, there's a small lining where it's like, damn, he does have gills, and he is made fun of for that. You don't ever want to body shame somebody. But because of who he is and what he did, draw your gross little fucking gills right there in the paper, you weirdo. You just gave a man mushroom tea by itself. That, that alone would have made me freak out. Who's revving up the girl power in the Girls, seven? get it done. Watching w I feel bad for her knowing how much she hates that outfit. And knowing that she's pretty much... I don't know if she's being forced to put it on or not. Because look at old girl over on the right, Stormfront. She got a whole goddamn goddamn on. Plus, Starlight's first outfit is way better anyways. Tables until four, print one-on-ones until six. Jesus, if she vibrates any faster, that stick up her ass is going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy Stormfront. Hello? I just thought it was weird. She came up live streaming. I figured she was going to get in trouble for that. The live streaming shit. But no. Is that your little girlfriend? What? No, your little girlfriend. When? Whenever you were dating, I guess. I'm sorry. Family emergency. Is everything okay? Babe, we've never had three women in the seven before. This is a moment. <laughs> Girls, get it done. You are not... <laughs> just the flip off. I have a family emergency too. Imagine somebody actually leaving in a panic and have a family emergency, and you're like, "But, but your job, <laughs> but." Today we say goodbye. There's plenty to of companies Susan like Rain. that. Hey, rest in peace, Sue's. Her soul lives on for all eternity. Something to do with a soup terrace smuggled in the Jersey a couple of months ago, and that is where we start. Honestly, it's like asking a cockroach to not be a cockroach. It's just your nature. I just feel like Rainer would have let that information out to other people before she even exploded. Like, she watched firsthand that terrorist being made, and it was all really convenient, right? But I guess, you know, she just had to piece it together, like, how it was happening. I feel like other people in that department could also be getting close if she did share information. I know what she meant to you, right? We find this terrorist, and we're one step closer to finding out who often. I'm not getting... Or we actually hearing one of the, like, his little fish talk to him. You go... Bro, we gotta talk. What the fuck? No, you gotta look at us. Look at us. No, see, that's too that's too big of a trip, right? Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> no fucking sir. Ride it, brother. Just ride it out, brother. Saving America. That's how every superhero goes undercover ever. Sunglasses, ball cap. Girls, get it done. Let's dish boys. Starlight, single or uh, spoken for? Uh, single, single. Single. Uh, single. Definitely single. <laughs> Tell us how fun it is to have all this girl power. Outright. I mean, she is single. Her and Huey's not together, but... I need y'all to stop being little shits. Can you... I don't think girls do anything better. I think chicks and dicks are in it together. Chicks and dicks are in it together, baby. That's a tagline right there. Look, Starlight likes her too. I vibe with you, Stormfront. Sorry, Ashy. Thought won't let me have Ashy. pockets in this thing. You can see every crease in my ass. You can practically see up Starlight's uterus. You want to talk about girl power? Let's talk about getting some pockets. I made this point a while back. I bought some pants. They were very comfortable pajama pants. When I got them. Come to find out they were technically women pants. I saw it on the receipt. And I was like, oh, shit. Just some PJ pants like I'm wearing right now. They were purple. Should have known. I throw them on. And I was like, damn, these are really comfortable. I feel like a bad bitch. And then I noticed the pockets. I, I couldn't even fit, like, my phone. I could fit, like, maybe half of my phone in there. Not even the rest of it. I couldn't fit a full fucking debit card in there if I wanted to. Why? Do you know why? <clears throat> they do that so women have to buy accessories, purses, wallets. Well, I mean, I have a wallet, but you see what I'm saying? You have to put stuff in a bigger bag. No. Give them pockets. Go being fucking weird. 
It's the weirdest thing, just not having pockets and pants. I don't get it. Has been out of the public eye. If I told you, he's right behind you. Yeah, here comes the A-Train! What's up? Look who's made us. Right. Look who's made a speedy recovery. Wow, welcome back. Thanks, thank you. Mm. Stormfront, you know, it is such an honor to meet you. Oh. I'm a huge Ooh, fan. Don't get shit. And he just walks away. I would have been like, hey, you know he saved your life, right? I let him escape, but he saved your life in the process. So maybe uh, let us slide a smidge, just a pinch. No, okay. To the blind bank account that smuggled that soup gun stateside, and I'll bet you he's there. Oh my lord, ain't you twice lucky that I showed up, eh? I mean, Billy does have the inside sources to get some shit done when shit goes a little sideways. It's not going to be that clear cut and dry though. Hmm. My brain's ticking. At all what I, I used to be a fan. But look at you. You're like the vaughtiest vaught in all vaught. She's got a strong point there. If you threaten me again, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows that you're the one who took it. Ain't got no pockets. What's that with Gecko? Oh. I think she just went over and dropped that in, her, in that backpack. Maybe you shouldn't be hitting the crystal with your buddies quite so soon. Come on, let's finish dick tickling these half wits so we can finally do our real job. Yeah. Shall we? There it is in the backpack. All right, kiddo. Oh, here. now you gotta like get it out. But like, how are you gonna say it? Like, I dropped this in here uh, by accident. Or I put this in here to get away from A-Train. Or, like, that's mine. It, ah, fuck, I don't like it. The ship, ooh, it makes me just tense. Yep. You got A-Train watching you like a fucking okay, spy, an son. With Miss Bird. Yep. My man's got a milk problem. He's got a bunch of trauma from being a young lad. About to fucking fly down in front of her. She's still thinking about old butcher boy. Yeah. Homelander is quite upset that this information was concealed from him. Corbett has made a decision not to antagonize him further. That voice sounds familiar. She's in a whole ass gated, shut down community. Who else lives here? Other people in, like witness protection? Like what's going on? <laughs> cool. That's <Thank> you. <laughs> that's fucking Welcome. wholesome. It's crazy you don't have one already, actually. Is that kid de-aging? He looks younger every time I look at him. Them. You could call me. You know, Ryan, um, when I was your age, I didn't have many friends either. Mom says being lonely makes you know yourself better. Ooh. It does for a bit, not yeah, wrong. for sure. You and me. We're gods. Small G though, small G, not a big G, small G, lowercase. We can do anything we want. Is this a little shit right here on the top of his like suit? Is that how he gets in? Does he like unzip that and then get in and you know like pull his head over? I guess that wouldn't make any sense, would it? I had a very funny image in my head for a second. I just don't like sometimes it's down, sometimes it's up. I don't get it. I do appreciate them. The, you can see the suits can be put on and taken off. Like even in the back, how it laps over or the zippers on the wrist. I like those small details. Ryan asks to go to a baseball game, swim in the ocean, eat at a Burger King. How do you think he's going to feel when he finds out that you've lied to him his whole life? I think he's going to be happy. I mean, technically, the government lied to him. Kept him in this pretty prison. She don't have a choice. Or do you think he'll fucking despise you? Hmm? Hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, baby boy. 
Let's go ask him. Now, I think the big lingering question is that I want to know, and I think that Butcher also wants to know as well, because like you said, like you know, she doesn't want to see Homelander, is she did go in that room. We did see her leaving, putting her heels on and stuff. We don't know what happened. That's not taking any sides. Was it assault? Was it consensual? I want to know that for Butcher's sake. Not that it makes a difference, right? Not, not that it's going to make any difference for him. But also more in depth of her emotions. Like, was it assault? And now she has to deal with this kid. And now she's torn away from the man she actually loved. And she has no say in any of it. Was it consensual? So now when she sees Billy, it's more of heartbreak, like a, a mistake that she had made. You know, there, there's two paths you can take from that. Both have negative outcomes, but I, I'm more curious to see what it's going to be. <laughs> he didn't have to rip his head off. You could have just... Just knocked him out. Shining Light Liberation Army. The ones who kidnapped you. Oh, never mind. Rip his head off. Rip, rip his head off. I am mad at you at all. Landing flat on your feet like that, you would have blew both your damn uh, heel bones out. Now yeah, that's her brother. boy has the force inside his bones butcher why would you do that i get you have this vendetta but like come on dog one of y'all should have a busted ankle or something That's his friend. That's all Butcher's fault, though, for even taking that shot in the first fucking place. Or just drop the mask once in a while. Feels good. You can finally breathe. Stormfront said what she said. Oh, and if someone sticks a dick in your mouth, bite it off. I'm with her on that, too. Be Longstocking would bite a D. That's for damn sure. But also trying to she i don't think it's a, it's not her intention obviously but saying that also undermines the fact about what happened to starlight you know that's kind of a slap in the face but i fuck with stormfront i'm just saying she'll probably die but i fuck with her because she is saying what she has on her brain she's got a point be yourself you can be a bitch. You can be an asshole. Just don't do it at the expense of people who don't deserve it, I guess. There are people where, you know, we, you don't know what people go through in their day-to-day -day lives or why they act the way that they act. But there are some people who are outright just fucking assholes. Be a bit of a dick to them. Or I'm more of like kill them with kindness type of situation. But every once in a while, take off the mask and just be yourself. She ain't saying nothing wrong. I'm surprised the cops hadn't been called yet. But I'm still going to side with Huey on this one because you could get them together and then instead of having him locked up, like you could take him to the right people and not, not there is right people, but you'd rather take that chance of going somewhere and saying like, hey, this is the person they smuggled in. This is what happened to him. Bing, bam, boop. This is his sister. She can translate. They only speak sign language, whatever it is. And then they can go about it that way rather than just shooting the motherfucker and then taking his body. So I don't know if that was a train gun on, or not. Uh-oh. 
Are y'all standing with Huey instead of Butchie Boy? The fuck you waiting for? She had a little boy with her, right? Spitting them a your homelander. I thought he just wanted to humiliate me. Show me what he done to my girl. Are you fucking with us? I find the terrorist for Mallory. She finds Becca for me. That's the deal I made. I know what I've done to you. Right? And by rights, you should. So. That's the DCA. Nothing CIA wiping their names. The deal you got is just to find your woman. I like Butcher when he's being open and honest like this, though. You're not a monster, Kimiko. <laughs> Wonder Twin Monster powers activate. Who are you sexting? What? What are you doing in here? Get out! I, I, okay, look, you got me. I'm having a heavy flow day. It's. Uh... What are you doing with this? God damn it, A Train. This is not how it looks. Okay, it's just a misunderstanding. Homelander should have charred your ass as soon as he found out that you were fucking Huey. Huey saved your life. We both did. Your mistake. Okay, if you just give me a minute, I can explain. You know, I just want you to think about me when you're getting the skin peeled off your face, bitch. God dang, he's so violent. Come on, do something. You're not going to tell anyone anything. Ooh, there you go. Take a stand. Who says that I haven't already? Because you haven't. Because then I'd already be dead. Dumbass. You're not going to do shit. If you do that. Then what? I'm going to take you down right with me. And then we'll both be dead. Why would you do that? Go ahead. Fucking try it. I don't give a shit. Staring you right in your face as she said it. Give me my goddamn V back. He's thinking. His brain's turning. He knows he ain't got shit. Y'all need better locks. Y'all have to do something to be able to, like keep each other out of each other's rooms sucky especially somebody like homelander who could just pop up anywhere or a train who could just burst in your door <laughs> she's saying nah you ain't doing it bro and she's stronger than i don't know stronger than hail That's fucked. Oh. I mean, my brother got the power. Oh. You got somebody that can do whatever the fuck you want versus somebody that can pretty much take all of it too, so they're pretty evenly matched. You know, we're hit by a fucking ATV, hub around. Cheers, love. At least someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> She's like, I will fuck you up. fuck was that for you come between me and my missus again i'll fucking kill you get over yourself wonder what's going through huey's mind right there because butcher's also gotten in the way of huey and starlight granted they weren't married this that and the other but still Seems like it's okay for, for Homelander to do something, but not Huey. The boys get themselves a super terrorist. Starlight gets evidence against Vought. 
the deep gets in touch with his feelings and Homelander feels guilty. Or gets, Homelander gets himself a family. Where the fuck did I get guilty from? Gets himself a family, sort of. All that and some hard-hitting expose on why suits don't have pockets. I mean... We got a lot. This season is having a, a slow build that I think will have a big payoff where the first season was just like bang, 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 like over and over again. The first season's got a lot going on. This season is, the opening to this felt more like the opening to what should have been the season two premiere coming off the heels of the finale. But I, I like the pacing of it. Kimiko, the, the terrorist that came in, the supervillain, is her brother. So with that being her brother... He, she wants him to just come with her. He wants to still fight for these people. They're the bad guys. And she says no. Captures him. So now they have this person they can turn over to the CIA to maybe help Butcher find his wife. I don't think that'll happen quickly. Probably not in the next episode. I think shit will go south. But the episode after that, maybe episode four or so, the mid-season, I think that's when some other big things should potentially happen. But, I mean, Homelander's trying to be there for his kid, which is wholesome, but at the same time, he wants him to be a soup. And Butcher's ex is just like, get the fuck out of here. Like, we're supposed to be safe. I still need to know, like, what happened, you know? Because it feels like it was still assault instead of anything else. Because she's not like, you know, rah, rah, rah. I wonder if the baby actually did progress faster. But then again, it's been eight years, so I don't I don't think so. I don't know, but that punch there on Huey, like I said, bro, get over yourself, because feels like with Huey, sometimes it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. And the whole scene with Starlight and A-Train, I mean, she just shut that shit down. Like, you're not going to do nothing. You're not about that life, so pack it the fuck up and go on. I like seeing all that. We got Queen Maeve reconnect, rekindling with her girlfriend a little bit, telling her what happened to a guy she just talked to that was talking to her via Homelander. We get Stormfront being an absolute badass. We also get stuff with the Deep. I think this whole time, the only person we didn't get to see from the Sevens, Black Noir, I think he's just off killing peeps in other countries. So, A-Train makes a full recovery. I wonder what's next with that situation. There's a lot of pieces being put on the table that haven't really been put together yet, and that's what I'm most excited about. So, I don't have too many other talking points at the end of that. We talked about most of it during season two, episode two, proper preparing and planning season two, episode three will be entitled over the hill with swords of a thousand men. I'll see you all there as always links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.